Okay, so we've looked at if statements now, so we're going to have move on to the next statement, which is a select case statement. Now this is very similar to the if statement, except we use the select case where we've got uh, a lot of options. So for example, if we were creating a menu system for the user to select an option, and say for example we had 10 options, we'd have to write out 10, 10 if statements or 10 nested if statements or if else's. Um, and it can get quite complicated. So what we can use is a statement called the select case statement. This makes it a lot easier to program each individual case depending on what the user has selected or depending on a condition. So to start off, we're just going to declare a variable and we'll call it menu choice as an integer. We'll then ask the user to enter a menu choice um, and or to do an action depending on what that is. Um, first thing that's going to be useful is to print out the menu options to the user. So we'll just have a console dot write line and one can be for example new game and I'm just going to copy and paste this ten times and then just go through and change these numbers two, three, four, up to ten. And then what also I'm going to do is obviously change the new games to something else. So we'll have new game, save game, resume game, delete game, We have multiplayer. We could have audio settings, graphic settings, game settings, maybe. We could have um, a quit. And finally, number nine we will make control settings. So there's my 10 options that I could have from a menu. I'm just going to space these over one more so that they all line up on the console. Now I've printed those out. Console.write line, just to leave a blank line, just for aesthetics to make it look nice. And then another console.write line asking the user, actually no, let's make this a console.write so it stays on the same line please select a number from the menu read that in, store it in our menu choice and now we're ready to perform a, a specific action based on whatever menu option the user has chosen so here's where our new statement comes in, our select case and we start off by writing select case and the case that we want to select is our menu choice so we're selecting case if menu choice was one then we would do whatever case one we program if menu choice was two we would do whatever case two was programmed and we program the individual cases by writing case one and then what do we want to happen if the user selects case one well we would write in code for a new game here. Obviously I'm not going to sit and program a game for the user to play and program all these options because that would take far too long. So I'm just going to say console.write line you have selected new game. I can then say case 2 console.write line you have selected save game case 3 and so on and so forth you can see how this case statement would slowly start to build up so let's go for resume game and you would carry on down and program each case up to case 10 so I'm going to skip some out to save some time. Case 10 would, would be end. And there's also a nice little one that you can do called 
case else, which is if the user does anything which has not been stated in the menu. So I would just do something here like console.write line error invalid selection maybe. Please try again. Don't forget a little console.read on the bottom so that we can see what happens on our console. And then if I run this one, we'll see what happens with our case statements. So hopefully we'll be prompted with something like this on a console, which, uh, which is our menu, and it's asking me to select a number from the menu. Now don't forget, obviously, I've only programmed 1, 2, 3, and 10 at the moment. So if I select 2, it should tell me you've selected save game, which is nice. Let's rerun that. Test number 1. You've selected new game. And we'll try number 10, which quits. Let's test our case else, and I'll enter the letter, uh, the, sorry, the number 15. 156, error, invalid selection, please try again. It obviously, you can see it hasn't looped round and asked us to enter something again because we haven't programmed a loop into that. Um, so we'll have to close the program and restart it. And we'll just try number three. You've selected resume game. So once more through the code, we've got a menu choice variable as an integer, and we're then just printing out a bunch of options onto the console for the user and asking them to choose one of those options based on the numbers so the user would type in the number and press the return key. That's read installed in menu choice and we're then selecting case menu choice so whatever the number they've typed in is the case that we'll jump to. So let's in this instance imagine they've typed in the 2. Case 1 won't happen because obviously menu choice is 2. Case 2, any code located within case 2 would then execute. We'd then come down to the end select because obviously none of this would happen because our menu choice variable was number two. Little console read on the end just to see what happens on the console so it doesn't close before you get a chance to read it. And that's the end. So again, the select case statement, similar to an if statement, used to do different actions or run different code depending on some condition. Generally used for where there's lots of possible options over an if statement, because an if statement can become quite complicated, quite nested. It's using a case statement is just quite sweet and it's clear to see where in the code you're going to be jumping to.